Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's Anna with you here and today we have another update on the situation here in Spain and of course our lovely sunny Benidorm region. So as for the situation, I must say that there's something strange happening. Um, the amount of cases is approximately the same as it was, more or less. So for the last 24 hours we have 5,701 new cases. But the index in general, like average index in Spain, is decreasing very fast. Only yesterday it was 180, but today it's already 166 for every 100,000 people, which is very, very small number. And it's only 16... Ooh, there's a wind. It's only 16 points until we will hit the line when... If we cross it down, if we decrease a little bit more, we will be already in a low risk here in Spain. And we will finally probably be in the green light for the UK. So hopefully the tourism will start without the necessity of getting the quarantine afterwards. There are a few regions that changed slightly their restrictions. In Murcia, for example, they were supposed to... Um, cancel all the restrictions but instead of doing this they've postponed it for one more week so one more week the actual uh, restrictions that they have right now will be valid starting from um, the end of this week seven more days they also have a limit of people gathering together in groups for six people maximum while in other regions for example here in the Linsen region and in a lot other areas the maximum is 10 not 6 but this is because they have not a very good number of cases right now they still didn't decrease the index as much so that they could um, permit themselves to have um, less restrictions that they do at this point also at 12 o'clock on midnight every non-essential business has to be closed in Madrid They've had approximately 14 areas, like um, zones inside of Madrid, that were locked down. Even though the state of alarm is over, but they still didn't allow people to go out of their areas. And right now, these are not 14 anymore, but only 11. So slowly, Madrid is also getting there to eliminate the majority of the restrictions. Basically, the restrictions that we have right now here in Spain, there are not many. Uh, we are allowed to travel inside Spain. Um, the majority of the regions don't have any kind of night lockdown. Only uh, a few regions do. One of them is our Valencian region that is closed at night from 12 until 6 in the morning. But apart from that, we can have normal life as we used to have basically. We can travel, we can stay until 12 uh, outside on the street if you want to. Um, even though a lot of people, in any case, stay at home, they don't go out that late. Um, we can go to bars and restaurants, shopping. The um, uh, museums are open as well. Uh, cinemas are open everything is basically open gym spa massage areas also everything is basically fine except for a few things that we still need to maintain the security distance so one and a half meters minimum we still need to wear masks everywhere um, except for the beach area so if you are laying on the sand and you don't move on the beach then you can take your mask out especially here in our area you know we have these squares so that no one could get into your private space um, but if you go for example if you decide to have a walk by the beach then you should put the mask on because you will cross with a lot of people just for your own safety um, apart from that you are allowed to take the mask off when you are sitting for example in the park uh, or like a national park somewhere in nature and you don't move you're just sitting in some place that no one else is near you like from people that you don't know that are not your family 
or closest people whom you live with, then you can take the mask out. Apart from that, um, you need to wear a mask all the time. We need to wear a mask all the time as well in supermarkets, even uh, on the open air areas as well, in the cities, um, in all kind of closed spaces, except for your home, of course. But everywhere else, we need to wear a mask. We need to use disinfecting spray or gel, like hand sanitizing gel, um, maintain the distance. And that's basically it. These are all the restrictions that we have right now. And everything else just seems to get getting back to normal very, very fast. Um, especially with this good weather, we have a lot of people that will be coming to our area, to Valencian community, this weekend. This is why, if you are one of those who will be coming to our region, um, don't be surprised that you'll see a lot of police officers, just because you know that our region is, was caring a lot about the number of cases, about the index that we have, and we don't want to make things worse once again. So this is why there's going to be approximately 500 police officers everywhere. Uh, even on the beach areas, they'll be driving quads. Yes, as you hear, they'll be driving quads or horses, maybe in some areas where they don't have quads, en enough of them. Uh, they'll be on some boats in the sea. There will be some drones flying around in the sky, just checking that there is this minimum distance between people that don't know each other, that people wear masks where they should wearing them. Um, should be wearing them, or that there is not a lot of crowds and big groups, for example, that people are not drinking on the beaches, like illegal parties and stuff. Um, and they basically will check all the streets to make sure that the safety is first and that all the necessary measures are basically there, even though there's a lot more of tourists and people on the streets. This is what's going to be happening. So... It's going to be very interesting to see once again a lot of people. I was today in Benidorm, by the way. I was filming one of the hotels from inside for you. Um, and this is going to be the Hotel Alameda, which is right in the historical center of Benidorm. Very nice hotel. They say it's three stars, but I would definitely give four stars for this hotel. By the way, they are not sponsoring me. It was my idea to go to this hotel um, so all my opinion is going to be my personal opinion it's not influenced by anyone because it just doesn't make any sense i just want to show you the things how they really are if it's a good hotel if it's a magnificent hotel i'm going to tell it to you if it's not then it's not i'm going to be totally transparent and honest with you guys so i went to this hotel and they are almost fully booked for this weekend mostly these are of course spanish people but not always um and i've just seen so many people around this hotel on the main streets in the city center there's just a lot of people it feels like we went back to um like two years ago approximately when there was no pandemics when except for masks of course because you can see people with a mask but if not for the masks you would definitely say that it was like as two years ago, there's a lot of people shopping, walking around. Um, some of them are eating ice creams, even though they shouldn't in a public area. But still, um, people are sitting in the cafeterias, they're chatting. There's such a nice, positive atmosphere and nice vibes in there. It's just, it's just amazing how we didn't even realize how we miss some certain things, you know, when we don't have them for such a long time. And then once suddenly they are here, you realize that, wow, this is what we've been missing. Like, this is what the city has been missing. It was very sad. It was very, like, lonely, closed city of Benidorm. But now it's once again happy, uh, bright, light city with a lot of people inside, a lot more than they used to. So it's actually very nice to walk around Benidorm and see all this happening. Hopefully the situation will get only better from now on. So basically, this is what's happening here in our region and in general, the situation that we have right now here in Spain, our lovely sunny Spain, where we finally have a 
perfect Spanish pre-summer weather. And speaking about the weather, this is what we have today. The Majority of Spain parts and regions have actually very sunny, very good positive weather with a lot of sunshine, only a few clouds, especially in the north part of Spain. And this is going to be the same during the weekend. Uh, on the weekend, they say actually that we will have some red alerts basically because of the temperature change and the temperature will rise up substantially in a lot of regions, reaching 35 degrees this weekend can you imagine 35 in a lot of different parts here in spain one of them is our region here so um the temperatures as for now they're not very high but they will be getting higher yesterday and the day after so today in the north part of spain we will have between 11 and 19 degrees in the center between 14 and 23 the south part of Spain and Mediterranean area will have approximately the same temperature between 21 and 31 degrees. Already a few parts of Spain that reach 30 today, which is going to be getting higher up until the next week. Our, uh, our area of Alicante and Benidorm will have 26 today. And by the weekend, they say that we will reach approximately 30, 31 degrees. So we need to prepare our summer clothes already. In Barcelona, that's going to be 19. In Granada, 26. In Malaga and Marbella, 30 today. In Sevilla, it's going to be 31. And Sevilla will reach 35, 36 degrees during the weekend. The same will be happening in Murcia, which is south from Alicante. And right now they have 31, but by the weekend they will reach the maximum temperature of 35 degrees. In Madrid, it's slightly less because it's in the center of Spain towards the north part. And they will have 22 today. In Balearic Islands, 21. And Canary Islands will have 25 degrees. In Valencia, they will have 25, slightly less by one or two degrees in compar comparison with other Benidorm and Alicante region. The water temperature is still 19 degrees. I wonder when it's going to hit the point when it's going to be 20 and we'll start growing because by June we need to be able to swim already. So let's see when it will grow. Probably after this weekend we will finally reach the comfortable water temperature for us to be able to swim in our lovely sea. These were all the news for today. I hope you enjoyed watching them. I wish you a very, very nice beginning of the weekend to enjoy, to relax and get some positive vibes before the new week start. And I'm going to see you tomorrow with a new video. Tomorrow's video is going to be about the most famous ever antique market here in Benidorm. The one that all tourists that come to Benidorm at least once need to visit and it's El Cisne. We are going to go there and see what kind of stuff and for which prices we can purchase inside. So don't miss tomorrow's video. Bye everyone.